In today's video, I'm going to do a resource walkthrough of a brand new resource called Lingo from the Anna Freud Centre. This is a resource that's really caught my eye. It's beautifully put together. It's been co-produced by children and young people and all the way through there are quotes and ideas directly from children and young people. The resource is about how we should talk to children and young people about their mental health and it's based on two surveys, one with children and young people and one with adults, both of them looking at those conversations that we have around mental health and the difficulties that there might be in having those conversations. It's a really practical resource that opens up the conversation, it gives really good ideas for questions we should be asking ourselves here and some really good pointers for best practice too. Before we go ahead with the resource walkthrough I'm going to first summarise very briefly the findings from the surveys with children and with adults about mental health conversations. Now the first thing was that the thing that really held kids back from talking to adults about their mental health was fear or worry about the adults reaction. They were worried that adults wouldn't understand what they were trying to say. The thing that made the biggest difference was when adults had time to stop and listen and children felt that adults would really benefit from having better awareness of the issues that face children. In the adult survey, we found that adults and professionals were really worried that they might say or do the wrong thing. They wanted to have more awareness of the issues that are facing children and young people. And they felt that in order to respond well, they really needed to know about their young person as an individual. OK, so let's take a look. Right from the start, I love it. It's really appealing. The images are great um, and it, it makes it feel less scary. This kind of opens up this conversation quite a bit uh, for me and it makes me want to pick it up and read it and hopefully it kind of feels the same for you too. Now, the first few pages are taken up by explaining the project and the methodology and that kind of thing. So this is put together by the Anna Freud Centre who are always really keen to share about the, the evidence base behind what they're doing. They do lots and lots of research kind of work um, to a high standard. So it's really important for them that they explain what's kind of gone on here and then we come to look at the um, breakdown of what was actually found out during the course of this research now they really clearly outline the results here um, and they give um, really clear discussion points that help us to think about and then what so what should we do with this information what's it actually telling us we do this first um, with the young people's questionnaire and then we go on to see what we learned from the adults and professionals questionnaire and again it's a really similar style and for each of the points again we have these discussion points so it gives us really clear call to action and questions we could be asking ourselves if we're looking to improve our communication with children and young people and then one of the pages which is perhaps least attractive but really really informative um, is the conclusions area and it is worth just kind of going through to the end here um, to find the conclusions just because it's a really nice summary of what's included throughout um, and um, that's about it really other than that it does go on to, to link through to some of the useful resources these are mainly linking through to other resources put together by the Anna Freud Centre which as I say are really worth checking out because they've put together some really great stuff so there you go Lingo a new resource which hopefully you will find helpful be really interesting to hear your thoughts on whether it was good having this kind of resource walkthrough and whether you'd like me to do this with other resources in future. Always looking to create as useful content as possible for my network. So do let me know if you liked it. Also, if there's other resources that you would like to see me walk through for you, then let me know. I will link to the resource in the description down below the video. So uh, please do go there, go check it out and hopefully you'll find it helpful. Okay, thank you and bye bye.